afternoon, everyone, and many thanks to IST Africa for the opportunity to present this work. My name is Nikita Mavenpal, and I am a DARA Big Data Fellow at the Office of Astronomy for Development in Cape Town, South Africa. This afternoon, I will present the initiatives of a Big Data Analytics Capacity Development Program in Africa, which has been running since 2017. This is a brief outline uh, of this presentation. I will introduce the partner institutions, briefly discuss the radio astronomy context of the program, uh, then talk a little about the motivation as well as the objectives of the program. I will present the African research cloud that is being used to support the project, as well as the actual initiatives of the project, mainly the big data school and hackathons event, hackathon events which we implement, and we'll end with some concluding remarks and uh, future implementations of the project. The institutions which collaborate to implement the initiatives of the program are DARA Big Data, where DARA stands for Development in Africa with Radio Astronomy. This project is uh, jointly funded by the UK Newton Fund and the Department of Science and Innovation in South Africa and is led by a team at the University of Manchester in the UK um, and the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory, uh, Sereo. Um, other partners are the Inter-University Institute for Data Intensive Astronomy based in South Africa and the Office of Astronomy for Development, which is an office of the International Astronomical Union. So uh, the Square Kilometre Array is a radio telescope that is being built in South Africa and several African partner countries, as well as parts of Australia. And when completed, will be the largest scientific facility in the world. Um, it's acknowledged as one of the biggest data machines, uh, biggest big data machines globally, and will require new and innovative big data solutions and relevant technical skills which has resulted in a drive for building capacity in this area and has resulted in projects such as Dara Big Data. This uh, significant investment in big data infrastructure on the African continent has also been highlighted as a major driver for economic development by the countries of the SKA Africa Partnership. Data science and big data skills development in Africa is crucial to allow for African participation in the technological advances uh, that are resulting from the fourth industrial revolution. A data science research community in Africa will also allow for Africans to form data-driven solutions to Africa's most pressing development needs, such as improving access in um, improving access and uh, equity in healthcare, um, working toward food security and reducing the impact of climate change. African scientists are best suited to take on these local challenges as they best understand the, the social, cultural and political contexts. However, um, academic institutions in Africa have only recently begun to uh, create these um, structures and training programs to stimulate uh, research and capacity development in, in the subject. And there's therefore still a lack of uh, coordinated uh, tertiary education um, in this field. Thus, the objectives of this program are to provide participants with um, exposure to these transferable data science and machine learning skills that are commonly used in astronomy. Um, the events that we implement uh, aim to um, introduce these concepts and skills by having participants work on real world big data problems in the fields of um, astronomy, as well as big data health and uh, big data agriculture. Um, as well as uh, to expose participants to the broader applications of data science um, and big data and in industry. During um, our events, we also incorporate 
the development of soft skills that are needed in, in both academia and in industry. Um, so these uh, events that are uh, run as part of these programs all make use of the Ilifu Research Cloud Facility, um, which is a African uh, research cloud, um, with all the technical setup and support provided by members of uh, IDEA. Um, so as I mentioned, IDEA is the Inter-University um, Institute for Data-Intensive Astronomy and was developed in order to allow for research using astronomical big data and is currently used to process data from the um, NEARCAT telescope, which is a South African precursor to the SKA telescope. Um, so for the big data schools and hackathons, uh, which we implement, uh, we use customized virtual machines um, on the Ilifu cloud, which are provided by IDEA. Uh, accounts are generated uh, for the participants uh, for each virtual machine and participants then access the um, hackathon or uh, school projects via a Jupyter notebook in interface. This is therefore um, an excellent example of how research infrastructure can also be used uh, for development purposes, uh, such as the ones run as part of this uh, program. In the next uh, two slides, I will present the capacity uh, building initiatives of the program, namely the Big Data Africa Schools and Big Data Hackathons. Both events are aimed at uh, final, final year graduates um, as well as postgraduate students uh, from various STEM fields, um, also uh, including young professionals who are working um, in industry. The, the Big Data Africa schools are held over 10 days and feature a mixture of formal lectures on data science and related topics, uh, intensive project work, and uh, as well as industry and career skills development. The school teaches important techniques for working with large data sets and focuses on group learning and uh, working with real life big data in addition to things like um, networking with peers and uh, people or contacts uh, from industry which are invited. There's also a focus on industry skills development uh, via guest presentations and workshop sessions where the aim is to expose students to the broader applications of data science and big data beyond academia as well as uh, the professional aspects of working in the private sector. Um, the Big Data Africa School was run each year since uh, 2017, with the exception, of course, of 2020 due to the coronavirus. So um, in addition to the Big Data Africa Schools, the program um, implements DARA Big Data Hackathons, uh, which have been run in various um, uh, SKA African partner countries since 2018. These hackathon events are shorter, so run over two to three days, and um, more focused events, which aim to provide exposure to data science and machine learning techniques, as well as grow confidence in uh, applying these techniques. And this is achieved by having participants work on interesting projects that make use of real world data. The hackathon events consist of talks given on various topics in data science and machine learning, as well as presentations by invited industry experts. Participants then work through guided tutorials which are relevant to the hackathon project um, with the assistance of uh, ample tutors and they then work in teams to tackle a hackathon task. Um, toward the end of the event, teams present their findings and a judging panel then awards attractive prizes to the top teams. Um, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, these events have also been successfully ad adapted to a fully virtual or remotely hosted events. 
So these are just some example uh, projects, big data projects that were developed for both these schools and the hackathons. Um, so we have examples of commercial projects such as building movie and music recommendation apps, and then projects that are related to astronomy, um, such as distinguishing between uh, astronomical detections and uh, radio interference, for example, and um, exploring radio data in the search of uh, interesting um, possible extraterrestrial signals. Uh, there are uh, also um, COVID-19 related uh, projects involving the sentiment analysis of, of COVID-19 related uh, data from Twitter. Um, and then sort of development related projects such as post cyclone flood analyses uh, using satellite imagery and uh, many others as well. So here we show um, some of the pr preliminary impact analysis work that we've done following the events. So for each event, uh, pre and post event surveys are sent out to all participants. And the results presented here are a compilation of the responses from 40 participants. So we see that attending the event has uh, influenced um, their their perspective or planning regarding their studies as well as their career options. And more than 70% of the participants felt that they had gained um, a lot of skills and knowledge, uh, both in the fields of data science as well as machine learning. Just looking at the responses, the actual responses to the questions on how attending the event has changed their perspective with respect to their careers or their studies also provides a lot of insight into what attending the event has meant to participants as well as the positive impact that um, attending the event has had on them and uh, also highlights the, the desperate need for, for these initiatives in Africa. So. Um, just leave this up for you to read for a few seconds. All right. So I'll end with a few concluding remarks and um, some of the future goals of the project. So we find data science skills development to be highly relevant and um, not only for development uh, challenges, but also to equip Africa to face the fourth industrial revolution. And um, we also find that there's a hunger among many of Africa's youth studying or working in STEM fields to acquire such skills um, so as not to be left behind. We have developed a model of a broad uh, skills development program, which has been shown to be successful, uh, versatile, and adaptable to various needs and scenarios. Um, we are building a database of uh, big data projects, which can be easily reused by others and um, openly available uh, on the Dara Big Data GitHub repository. Um, in terms of the future goals of the project, we aim to improve the percentage of, of um, female participation in, in the events by putting into practice various recommendations that were recently set out as a result of a um, case study um, conducted by Sereo. We also plan uh, to develop resources and infrastructure that will allow for, for the hackathons in, um, in particular to be independently executable by a much broader community, uh, including various uh, institutions or private groups uh, across the continent. Um, so that's allowing for the project to become scalable and sustainable um, in the future. 
So uh, with that, I'll end and thank you very much uh, for your attention. If you'd like to know more about the project, please feel free to get in contact or have a look at the links listed. Thank you very much. <laughs>